Here we go. So uh, welcome to uh, this uh, August 24th uh, GSOC office hour for this 2024 uh, edition. Nice to see everybody uh, here uh, on the line. So uh, uh, big news of this week is that uh, two uh, members of the adventure uh, requested to have a little bit more time uh, to complete their project. So Vendit and uh, Jakruti, and uh, it has been agreed by the whole team. Uh, so we'll have two projects that complete at the expected schedule. So I think it's uh, next week. They would, no, I don't have the dates. I should have uh, written down them. And the two others will complete their uh, project on September 19th. So a couple of weeks uh, left uh, to complete that. So that was the important news. We'll keep, unless somebody has a problem with that, the public presentation of uh, all the project for the four, uh, September 14th because we have such a hard time to find a date that suits everybody. <laughs> I'm looking at you, Harsh. <laughs> so, uh, does somebody have questions or comments about this uh, rescheduling of two projects? Or are we good? I don't really have any comments as such, but I wanted to ask that, uh, in that case, like we have got a, an email from Chisa that uh, Google team that says that we have to submit our, like they really want a kind of description of our work, like what we did and how we did everything. So do we have to do when they ask us to, like, I think they want us before the end of September to submit everything. So do we have uh, to do it then or around yeah, 19th so, when the project gets over? Uh, so check out the dates uh, on your project. So because now it's not common to all projects. Uh, I remember 19th and the master of the dates currently is Chris. Uh, Chris drove the effort asking everybody and I thank uh, Chris very much to have uh, uh, done yep. that. So Chris, do you have some additional information or pointers? Uh, so I think for Jacuzzi it's the 19th, uh, but for Vendor it's one week after. Oh. Because like, cause I, st I stuck to the, like, the recommendation of Google, so so they want even number of weeks instead of like odd number of weeks. That's oh. why we picked like 26. Yeah, because well, they, we... they say, like, yeah, it's, it's for stipulation uh, distribution, because like they're, they're complaining like if you if you chose odd numbered weeks, they, they might have some issues with it. Okay. Yeah. I don't know why, but here uh, on the other side, Jack Cruti uh, uh, said it after the 19th, he has no more time left uh, or, or she needs to start uh, something new. So unless okay. Google yells, normally everything is set, right, Chris? Yep, agree. Okay. So uh, to be 100% sure, Jack Cruti, check in uh, the uh, description of your projects. And there you have the different milestones and deadlines for your project. Okay. If you still have doubts or so, reach out to Chris or to myself to clarify uh, any doubts about that. And okay, a pro tip, yeah, a pro tip, ask Chris directly because he's the master of deadlines. Yeah. Okay, good. Thank you, uh, uh, everybody. So if you have doubts, problems, or worries, uh, talk to your mentors. And if it's more administrative, uh, talk to the org admins uh, to, to exactly know. This said, keeping an eye on the, on the watch, um, Let's see what is happening in the different project. If everything is going smoothly 
or if uh, difficulties are uh, are, are uh, rising or need to be to be tackled. So, Jakruti, you first on my screen. I don't know how you managed to do that. Probably by by joining earlier, but uh, here. Enjoy. Yeah, that's right. Oh, okay, so. Jakruti, tell us what happened uh, the, the the week, the, the last week, and what is happening in the coming days. Hello, everyone. So last weekend, I actually made a new, a new pull request. That is, I started working on a new probe that was to detect incremental build in the plugin. And about the previous tasks that I was working on, the old probes, they are almost ready to merge. They are just some last minute final touch ups left. So this week, my main focus would be to come uh, to get, I mean, and, and one has already reviewed it. So I just have to you know, implement his suggestions and give you whatever he's saying. And I hope I will be able to complete it by this week. This weekend, I also have already, my next plan for this weekend is to start on the next pro because I've already discussed the approach with Antoine in the meeting. So that's I have to say. And I want to to share that you also bought some interesting books to help you be more stable and on on solid ground for some uh, important concept in Java. Did you start already reading? So it's the head first yes. series of books. Yes, yes. I try to read them as much as possible, like at least one, two pages at a time, do the exercises, like they have said in the book that you should do the exercise and think about it before looking for the answers. So I follow the approach. It is interesting, like some things, it kind of makes sense that, okay, this is why they had said me already. Okay, mentors had told me this to follow. I should have done it this way and that way. So yeah, that is it. That does help. But then sometimes I think like, okay, so this probe that I did was like really complex based on the examples they are showing and what is happening. So now at least I can gosh, what is the difficulty level of the work that I'm doing. So now we also understand why Adrian wanted me to follow the sequence of the probe to work on because they're based on difficulty level. And say, like, for example, I can say that, okay, I have to implement an abstract class. So abstract class difficulty level one. And the next that I had to do was abstract class difficulty level two, maybe something like that he had adjusted. So that was that. Okay, okay good. So um, I'm, I'm happy that you have these additional sources to, to better understand the game your plan so but you did not tell them that you were the one who recommended the books so again uh, i am saying that you were the one who had recommended those books for me you did not well, add that i like the pictures of the book and the humor uh, in it and it's so very does somebody else know the the uh, head first series i have i, I have read some chapters i have Okay, so so you you agree with me? They're fun to read. Yeah. They they help me probably a little bit outdated or year two thousands uh, style, but uh, they're good. Anyway, thank you very much for the update, uh, Jack Ruti. I think uh, you and Antoine are are moving, so uh, uh, no problems there, or we have a close eye on whatever could uh, get us into difficulty. So walking through, Bruno, yeah, now it's Harsh turn. Harsh, what's happening on your side? Yeah, so in my project, like what has happened is the block related to the final block of the project is completed and it's deployed on Jenkins.io. I've also submitted my like last uh, like submission to Google about Google Summer of Code regarding the plugin. It is not like, it is not totally completed yet. Some tests were not working and they were notoriously hard, but uh, I, 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 I thought that I would be extending the, like uh, the program for a bit, but Mark suggested not to. So we skipped the idea and some tests, um, like I made them pass of course, but it's not the best way to make this pass. That's what I did. I just, I just made them pass. Do you understand what I mean? And Ooh. like, <laughs> <laughs> and and related to some of uh, some interactive testing was also left so yeah we'll have to like uh, see what will happening what will be happening to the plugin after the pro project gets over but 
officially the project is over from like from our side i think uh, yeah. uh, it was starting to interfere with your your studies right so there was there was also we had to balance there uh, the the various things the various elements do you want to add something are you done no i think i i could have managed an extended project to be honest because like it's kind of weird leaving it in between i just don't like like leaving things in between if, if we when we are so like i think 95 96 percent of the project was done like it was just some part of the project was, which was not done so it could have been given me a better like a wholesome experience a completed experience but yeah it, it is what it is now i'm going to make uh uh um... I don't know the English word for it, but I'm 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 going to be uh, not politically correct here and say here, if you want to complete it afterwards, you're welcome to continue as an open source contributor and uh, finish what you started when you have time at a different rhythm. The people you worked with, Chris and Mark, will be around uh, to help you. So, well, Google Summer of Code is a very good structure, but now that you have the momentum, you can you can continue. Uh, yeah, I think the Be same proud. because like, uh, like it's it's just a different kind of joy seeing your work in production. Like it's just a different thing. Yeah, yeah. So you have the full the, the full story and also the 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 kick when you know your piece is used by many people is now in yeah. in production. Hey, well done. Okay. Very, very good. Vandit, what is happening on I your side? Uh, uh, so Vandit. we are ex yeah, we are extending the time we are extending the program time, coding time. So we are the we are working on the Gatsby part of things and I just raised a PR today uh, about Strappy Strappy plus Gatsby blog. Uh, we uh, we still have to uh, we still have to uh, I, I we have I've raised the PR but still needs to be reviewed. Uh, and after that I'll be working on uh, implementing the in singular pages of uh, with Gatsby like the download page the home page. But the main the main the main the main milestone is the blog section. If we complete that, uh, all the other pages will be done in two three days. And after that, uh, since Jenkins.io is really vast. And uh, it has changed. It has it it has changed from the point where I started porting things. So uh, we uh, we have given a, a, ourselves two weeks plus uh, more more than more two weeks. So we can check that everything is ported. Or some things that are that was changed after I I, I forked that from Jenkins.io and started working on it. And some and also test if all the links and things are working. So because uh, since it was more about on the user experience side, I don't think so. If links don't work, user experience would be good. No. So yeah, we'll be we'll be doing that. yeah we'll be doing that testing since Jenkins dot has so many page have so many pages. So we'll be manually checking for each link, uh, if it's working on the web on the browser, and after that we'll be done with the finished product. Yeah. That uh, a drop in replacement of Jenkins dot basically. There will be a big a, a big chunk, and this basically the the reason I think Chris can extend on on that uh, that we we need a ready completed product uh, so that not this detail or that detail needs to be done. Otherwise, uh, people uh, will will not be happy uh, yeah. about that. Here, we would really like to to change that. Chris, do you want to add something? And also yeah. an ours uh, project. Go ahead. Yeah, um, for event this project, we're going to have a demo tonight. Uh, yeah. Oh. During the public yeah. hour. Yeah. Um, Europe Doc Office hours. Yep. So, and for Harsh, I think it's like, um, I think it's like, according to Mark, he thinks it is like, um, he's very like, satisfied with, with the progress of the project, even though it's not completed entirely. So we'll continue working on it later. But um, I'm I'm very happy with the project. So two both both projects are uh, doing great, in my opinion. Okay. Good. It's nice, uh, really nice to to hear. Thank you for the the insights, uh, Chris. 
Okay, good. Now the last one, Ashutosh, I don't know how you managed to always be the last one. <laughs> Go ahead, Ashutosh, tell us what happened. For the blog post. And uh, another big thing is uh, uh, we got a chicken and egg problem again. <laughs> again. Uh, right now, the uh, Infra team doesn't have the enough bandwidth for shifting from uh, shifting the testing and updating of uh, Docker Docker com Docker Compose files and images uh, to Jenkins uh, CI dot Jenkins dot Jenkins CI. So, and we need that in the documentation. So, and we don't expect uh, uh, they that they will get the bandwidth. Uh, during the GSOC period. So right now we are in a tricky situation uh, because we, in, for documentation, we'll need the infra team and infra team will not be available this month. So we are hoping uh, that infra team will uh, be able to merge it before Hacktoberfest because we uh, we want to uh, get this repo merged before Hacktoberfest so we can Integrate Hector, apply this uh, report, uh, my work in the Hector Fest too. Would be so, very helpful. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I also wanted to uh, be like a maintainer for Hector Fest. Okay. Yeah. Sounds, sounds good. And you know what, yes. what would be really great is that you're able to show and promote. Uh, this set of tutorials to would-be GSOC uh, candidates and that you all here uh, around the table here can help explain and uh, how to prepare, how it works, what is important, uh, and, uh, and especially I, I like the, the, the expression, but you can maybe explain in your own word what it means to build the Jenkins muscle so to get prepared and learn what what it means. I try to explain, maybe you're better than me to explain it, but it's a long, long run and you're well placed to know that. But uh, you can eventually also on Gitter or other channels explain because now the young students are curious want to know well with your experience you can help them so good ashutosh uh, is so, there something you wanted to add yes yeah, so uh, i was from uh, now on i was thinking that i will be at, uh, i will attend the infra team meetings too but uh, bruno said that it's it will be it will not, uh, not be enough uh, it will it will take time for them to get the bandwidth to integrate it so we will at be least, doing it at, yeah. yeah at least the... attending the infra team uh, meeting will help you to understand what is going and just by listening you will learn a lot if the time is still convenient for you uh a very good source of uh, knowledge and, and so you will have this production vision that interests you Good. I, I hear good music here at the end of GSOC. I, I see you all four don't look the same as two months ago. I can tell you, or three months ago. I can definitely say that. So, and I see different people, and I'm happy and proud uh, to see that, uh, that evolution. Good. Uh, so I wanted to conclude, but I already said it. So don't hesitate if you have time to give a hand to the people that start to show up with uh, with questions. Um, and uh, let's continue. Let's do the the final mile or or the last one. Some have a few other laps to to run before we can we can say that. Um, We'll keep the office hour open for, for a couple of weeks, even after the first will have finished, just to check and follow. But slowly, we will uh, decrease uh, 
uh, the important at a certain moment we will stop with the office hours to to say to say that so we're giving the last chance for if somebody wants to add a comment or clarify something here i do want to say something though just want to congrats, go ahead chris uh, Hush and Ash. i just want to congrats Hush and Ashish for completing projects it's like it's a great achievement i'm proud of you both yeah, yeah. Fully totally agree. Well done. So maybe one day, but there I'm dreaming, we will meet and we will have either a beer or a cup of tea or whatever, but we congratulate each other uh, uh, together. Indeed, Chris, well done. It's, it's, I, I agree. Great ach achievement. Although, Chris, we're not there yet. Otherwise, they're going to, <laughs> to sit back and so, no, no. Not, not for Vendu and Jakuti. They, they still need to work very hard, very, very they, hard. They, yeah, oh, indeed. They can, they can, they can like, the moment. They're, re they're reaching the end, but uh, let's finish that uh, uh, cleanly. Okay, great. Leaving a blank if somebody wants to ask or say something else. Go ahead, Aharsh. So like um, a lot of people are actually DMing me about GSOC on the Gitter channel. So like, I think we should be telling them not to like directly message the like contributors, maintainers and the mentors because like it's just, and when I it's... cross message them, they don't even reply. So that's kind of a creepy experience to be honest. Yeah, uh, that's a very good point and a very good advice you're giving. Uh, uh, one of the principles of open source and what we do here is to keep one-to-one -one conversation as low as possible because only two persons are benefiting from the conversation. Making it in the open uh, is uh, makes it much more efficient for uh, everybody. There's some subjects and some dis discussions that needs to be one-to-one, -one, but these are very point-to-point. -point. As a principle, I personally uh, don't take any one-on-one -on -one conversation. I advise you not to do that and to redirect the people, either not accept the one-to-one -one discussion. Remember how you felt at the beginning. It's very intimidating. And so you think that you will not make a fool of yourself by asking directly a one-on-one -on -one question and maybe get some head, uh, head start from the others. Remember that, so help that. Tell the people here, don't be afraid. We're there to, to help. Say it openly and stay kind. And, uh, but I think you know the music, but it's very good observation you made, Harsh. Very, very good, yeah. They're actually pretty scared about it. Like I've, I've seen like the contributors that we are having, they're either overexcited or over scared about stuff because like they are intimidated and the projects are, I think for GSOC 2024 are not released yet. So, so they are thinking like, what the hell am I going to do with this complete Jenkins? And they want to learn plugin development. And my, like my project was all about plugin development. And even if I want to teach them, it is impossible. Like, because there is a lot of content, like, They'll have to research and like they're they trying have... to find shortcuts. Yeah, yeah, it, 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 very true, very true. Reflect on your experience. And uh, although I will not be directly involved anymore uh, in GSOC, I'm interested to hear your experience and you sharing that experience. So at least uh, telling the people, this is how you're going to feel and it's okay. And this is how you prepare. This is a method methodology. And this is something that also outside of GSOC is, is valuable. So for you, it's fresh. Remember how you felt four months ago or in October. Uh, I, I remember the conversation I had with Jack Ruti after uh, uh, Hacktoberfest of uh, uh, last year. And as I said, you're not the same as four months ago. There is a huge distance. You can be proud of that. So share that experience with others. So I think okay, it might very be good. 
Go I ahead. Yeah. think it might be a good idea. Um, like one of our last office hours that we only have our four GSOC um, contributors talk about, you know, what are their lessons learned, tips and tricks for the new contributors. Um, I, I think that will help set the expectation, set the, the stage for our next year's um, event. And I, I think that will help us, us as mentors and org admins out a lot as well. Um, so we don't have to keep repeating the same thing over and over. Yeah. Yeah, maybe uh, if if mentors are also willing, they can also share mm -hmm. their experience uh, there. But here, you as mentee, uh, this is you're you're talking to your your peers. So yeah. uh, very good idea, Lisa. We're we're going to to organize that so that it's on fire. Hey, good. So I'm two minutes over time. I'm sorry about that. So. But interesting topics, great to see you, great to see a lot of smiling faces. Uh, so go, 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 as I used to say. It's not my word, but uh, somebody I know who says that. And final stretch now, final stretch. Let's show them what we can do. Okay. Have a nice rest of the day. Enjoy it. And uh, have fun. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye, thanks. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye everyone. Bye.